The battle royale genre is still very popular, even after being around so long. But why is that exactly? Many people are slowly getting bored of it, and something new must be coming to take its place. So, stay tuned to today's video as we discuss why everyone might be sick of the battle royale genre and what could be the next breakthrough in gaming. First up, what does the future of the battle royale genre look like? The battle royale genre has been one of the biggest things to hit the gaming sphere since it began. Now that it's his fifth birthday as PUBG released five years ago, people are commentating on how the future of the battle royale genre might seem a little dull. PUBG came out and started bringing big money to the battle royale genre and really allowed it to make a name for itself, followed with games like H1Z1, Fortnite, and of course the ever-popular Warzone and Apex Legends, whilst all these games change and tweak the battle royale genre to make them stand out at the heart, they are still battle royale. Since 2017, fans have been pointing out how they've been having way less fun in these games. PUBG has of course followed fallen off quite a lot, as the majority of its player base has moved on to other games or even to the mobile version. Fortnite is still very popular, but nowhere as popular as it was back in 2017 and 2018. Warzone has seen a massive decline in players since the original peak in the pandemic, but surprisingly, it's still doing pretty well. And easily, the most successful currently and most popular is Apex Legends, which is still doing very well compared to other Battle Royale games. As well as these games, more and more Battle Royales are still being released in 2022, meaning that the game genre is far from dead. However, something new must be coming around the corner, as Battle Royale surely won't last forever. Over the years, Battle Royale has adapted into itself, changing up its formula and trying to add new things. Fortnite started going with smaller maps and more movement after the success of Apex Legends, and PUBG followed suit. Warzone allowed players to respawn after they had died, following on from the Apex's trend of reboot cards. Fortnite even added cards in late 2018, after Apex Legends doing super well with these mechanics. All of these are good tweaks, but they don't change the complete rules of Battle Royale, and they're starting to feel a bit outdated. According to some, the circle feature seems very outdated. The circle can single-handedly ruin a 40-minute match that's going your way, and it makes that decision completely randomly. The circle doesn't care if I've already fought tooth and nail for a tactical position on top of a hill or in a secure building. It doesn't consider that the middle of an open field isn't the most thrilling place to end a match, or that the hill top sniper on the north end of the circle has an absurd advantage over the players that happen to approach from the south. In the early days of Battle Royale, I thought the circle added tension to map navigation and forced me to make interesting choices. Coming from sandbox survival games like DayZ, the circle was a way to truncate hours of looting and running into shorter matches. In DayZ, it was possible to spend hours repairing a car only to be gunned down seconds after turning the key in the ignition. PUBG provided more of a consistent dose of open world thrills, while softening the blow of a loss by condensing the experience into 20-minute matches. I didn't mind if the circle wasn't on our side, at least it was fairer than DayZ. However, regarding the circle is another point of a battle royale. You can have a massive game with a lot of action, but dying to the circle is entirely your fault and nothing to do with the game. Yes, the circle doesn't care about your progress in a match, and doesn't care about other people's positions, but at the end of the day, it's your choice mid-match to move around the circle and be positioned perfectly. This is what makes the skill gap in battle royale games super high, as it's one thing to join a match and die instantly, but it's one thing to get to the end game and know exactly what you were doing. Another issue is that people have become so good at battle royale games that it's almost unfair to queue with them. This was slowly becoming a problem before the pandemic, but because people were locked in their homes for nearly two years, some gamers have gotten phenomenal at these games. Games like Fortnite had to introduce a zero build mode because the building community was too strong and destroyed the game. New players and even veterans were hating the game because they couldn't just chill out and play their favorite battle royale. Instead, they had to sweat against other high-tier players, even in public lobbies. Even suddenly, Apex had an issue with this recently, as the rank system has been completely tweaked and players have been coming up against harder and harder opponents for seemingly no reason at all. Looting is also a problem, as games have gone that quick looting that it's almost passive at this point. Battle Royale was meant to be a looting minigame with a lot of gunfighting around it, but at this point, that losing aspect has almost must become passive for many players. Yes, you need to get good loot, but it's not as important as skill and positioning. Some people are saying that Battle Royale is becoming a bit of a ball, but what do you think about this? Please let us know down in the comments section below. Our final point is what is next for Battle Royale or what is the next genre to appear? We obviously don't know what the next big drama to appear is, but we have seen some recent adaptations of the Battle Royale genre that might see the genre have a good future ahead of itself. Hunt Showdown is one of the biggest examples of this 
as it tweaked the battle royale genre and took it completely away from other games. This was one of the first and biggest PvP shooters, meaning that most of the matches were fighting against AI combatants, but there are real players in your lobby to take you out. This is a battle royale 2.0 of sorts, meaning that players can fight AI and also fight real players at the same time. Other games, like In the Cycle and Scavengers of Headless, implemented as well, meaning that the genre is changing. The map might be big and there might still be a lot of loot, but at least in the passive way of playing the game you can fight against AI and not a constant barrage of players. Players really have a chance of staying in these lobbies for a long time, and it's not like everything you come up against is a person cracking 90s and destroying you. Hunt addressing is a big problem with the battle royale genre, showing that it can have 12 player lobbies and still be really good because of its AI. Apex has around 60 players, PUBG has around 100, and Warzone has a massive 150. The amount of players is a problem in battle royale, as it means that there is more chance for you to be destroyed off the drop. Despite players really liking the death and coming back in feature, they still don't want to return into a match just to die immediately. They have already been signed to the battle royale genre changing, so it doesn't look like it's going anywhere. But they also need to start adding newer features to their games. This is especially true for those that are free to play, like Apex Legends and Fortnite. These games are free, meaning that the battle royale genre is their main game mode. However, both games have been adding newer game modes to change up and swap up what the player base gets to do. Just look at Fortnite. It added an entire creative mode to allow players to make their own maps and their own mini games for others to play. Apex Legends also adds limited time game modes every few months to swap up what players can do. They also swap weapons around every so often. Weapons will leave an end to the loot pool in both Apex and Fortnite. These games are slowly changing, but it's not like they're going to tweak the genre completely like Hunt has. Apex and Fortnite are still doing really well at the top of their charts for their respective genres. Warzone is still ever popular, but nowhere as near as the titans of industry. Apex and Fortnite will always be at the top no matter what happens to them, as they're just better games and people know it. Overall, the battle royale genre is still going really strong and doesn't seem to be changing. And that's the end of today's video. Hopefully, you enjoyed this latest video. If you did, would you please let us know down in the comment section below? It would be very helpful. Make sure to like the video, comment down below, and of course subscribe to the channel with the notification bell rung. Thank you for watching today's video. Bye.